Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make a coronavirus tracker using python and for this we are using an API to fetch the data. So this is the API that we are going to use. I will give the link of this API in the description. So from here you can see there is all the data and if we want to see that more clearly we can copy that and we can open postman and here I'll paste it as a get method and I'll send and as you can see there is all the data that we are getting all right now let's create a Python app to show all the data so I'm going to open my VS code and here I am going to create a new Python file I'll call it corona.py all right so from here uh, we need to import some packages at first because we are making a GUI app so we have to import Kinter all right oh, sorry stk okay and then we need to import requests because we are working with API so I'll write import requests and uh, before importing the requests we need to uh, install this or download this for our PC so for this we need to go to terminal new terminal and here we need to write pip install requests 2 so that will uh, download the library for you okay now let's import date time because we'll need that to format some time variables so I'll import date time all right so now let's uh, create the GUI for our application I'll write canvas equals tk dot tk and then uh, let's set the uh, size of our canvas so I'll write canvas dot geometry and here I'll pass uh, let's say 400 into 400 as the height and width of our canvas and then let's set a title for our canvas so canvas dot title and for the title I'll write corona tracker app okay so now let's uh, define a font here so i'll write f equals uh, let's set the property so the font name is opins uh, and the font size we'll use is uh, 15 and the font style will be bold all right so now let's uh, try to uh, create some buttons and some label to show our data okay so at first I'll create a button I'll call it button and I'll write tk dot button and inside that I'll attach it to the canvas and then for the font I will pass the F that we just created and I'll set a text here which will say load or fetch you can write anything and for the command we will call a method here okay uh, let's call our method as get covid data okay now let's create this one and before creating let's actually uh, pack our button so let button dot pack and here I'll give a padding to the Y coordinate to let's give it 20 okay and now let's create our this uh, method so I'll write here define get COVID data and inside here uh, we need to uh, fetch the data from the API but before that let's complete our ui so under the button we need a label to show our data so i'll write 
label equals tk dot label i'll attach it to the canvas and then for the font i'll pass the f again and now let's pack our label so i'll write label dot pack and here i'll pass uh, a padding of 20 okay and we can also create another label to show uh, the time of fetching the data so for this i'll write label 2 equals tk dot label i'll attach it to the canvas and for the font i'll pass let's say the font size i'll set 8 okay and the font uh, name will be normal okay we'll we are just changing the font size here okay and again we need to pack this so label 2 dot pack and here we won't add any padding so let's keep it like this and at the end we will write canvas dot main loop okay so now let's go back to our covid data method okay so inside the method i'll set the api so i'll write a variable called api and inside here i'll uh, set our url which is this one i'll just copy this and paste it here and then let's create another variable called json data and inside here we'll call our requests dot get and inside the method we'll pass the api and we'll format it to json all right and now we can fetch the data from the json data uh, as you can see inside our postman we have all the data as with a name here like the updated the cases the today cases and much more okay so let's try to fetch uh, the total cases from here which is named under cases okay so for this i'll write here um, total cases equals and here we need to uh, call the json data and from the json data we need the uh, part which is named under cases so i'll just write cases that's it and we can also format this as string so that we can add or do some concatenation later all right so we got our total cases here let's uh, try to print that and see if it works or not so i'll write print and i'll pass the total cases here and we'll call the get covid data in our main method okay like this so now let's run this as you can see it's showing the total cases here so our app is working properly now let's uh, show all the data in the ui so let's fetch uh, some more data like the uh, what say let's open the postman and from here you can fetch all the data here but uh, for the example i'll be fetching just the cases deaths and today cases today death and let's say today recovered all right so let's do that i'll call the total deaths and then i'll just pass the json data and we have to uh, call by the name of that variable inside our api so for the uh, total deaths the name is deaths we can just copy this and paste it here all right similarly we can fetch some more data
I'll also show the today recovered so str json data and here I'll pass uh, the today recovered all right and now let's try to fetch the uh, time which is here under the updated so this is actually the uh, time of the data uh, or the time of refreshing the data so let's um, show that also so i'll call it updated uh, at equals um, json data and i'll pass updated okay so we are not uh, converting this into string we'll just keep it as it is because now we are uh, going to make some changes to show it as the proper date and time okay so i'll take a variable called date or we can set it to anything and inside here i'll call the date time dot date time dot from timestamp and here i'll pass the updated at divided by 1 e3 all right that will convert our uh, updated at variable to the proper date and time and now let's uh, attach all the data to the labels that we created for the ui so i'll write label dot config and here for the text i'll pass all the data here so let's arrange it in some beautiful way so at first i'll call the total cases and here i'll add the total cases all right and then let's add the total deaths and i'll add total deaths all right and for the next i'll write today uh, cases and i'll add the today cases next is the today deaths i'll pass the or i'll add the today deaths and then today recover recovers or something okay i'll add the today sorry today recovered okay let's change it to recovered all right so this is all the data here and next for the level 2 we will add the date or the proper date and time on which our data is updated so i'll be writing label 2 dot config and here i'll pass as the text our date all right now let's run our code and see what happens oops we made a mistake here we didn't uh, add new lines in between so let's fix that so here in between i'll add some new lines all right so now it looks good let's run this okay so here is our app and as you can see here we got all the uh, data from the api like the total cases the total deaths the today cases today deaths and today recovered we are also getting the time of updating the results and we can also click on this button to fetch again the data so that was a simple and easy coronavirus tracker app i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching